Welcome back, everyone. James Murphy here from M Coding, back again to tell you about another basic Python recipe. Today, we're going to be answering the question, what are the largest files on my computer? And we're going to write a simple Python program to find the answer. OK, so I've already got some starter code uh, written here. Let me just go over what I've already written. Uh, basically, I'm going to get a start point, call this largest files function. It's going to take an integer, how many of the largest files I want, and a starting point, you know, what directory do I want to find the largest files in. You could just put this to be um, the root of your drive, um, or you could take it to be a specific folder or something like that. Uh, then we see how long it took and just print that out. So right now you can see I already ran it ahead of time and if we're not doing anything, it takes basically no time. Okay, so now let's get into how do we actually find the, the largest files. Okay, so what we're going to do here is actually start with um, how to iterate over files. So before I can tell you about what the largest files are, I think that it, I'm going to need a way to iterate over them. So let's actually start out with um, a function that's going to be able to iterate over, let's say, files and how big they are. Uh, and then we'll do something with that iterable in order to find the largest ones. So let's say uh, walk, files, um, and sizes. So I'm imagining that this is going to be returning um, you know, a, a pair or, or iterate over pairs of you know, file comma size, something like that. So, and it'll just take this start at uh, location um, that it's going to be um, starting at. So the os.path library provides basically a tool already to do this kind of walking over files. So let's start with that as a starting point. So os.walk is going to return um, or is you'll it'll return an iterable of three things. And the first one is, let's say, the root. That's going to be like the, the current directory that you're in. Then um, the subdirectories of that directory and the files in that directory. So we'll say for root, ders, and files in uh, os.walk. And we'll give it this start at. And of course, I need to import um, OS in order to do this. So I'll use a keyboard shortcut here to do that. There it is. And then now, so I have essentially a directory. And I don't really care about the directories here. So actually, I'll go ahead and just rename that to underscore so I don't get confused and think I might want to be using it. I only care about the files here. Uh, but maybe if you're writing something similar, you might want to do the same thing for directories, see what happens. Um, so I have essentially uh, the directory and a list of file names uh, that are in that directory. So I'll want to loop over those files for file in files, and then um, basically put them together. It, it doesn't give them to me as, as the whole path. It gives it to me as the directory and the file name. Uh, so I'll say for file and files, and then I'll make a path, which is uh, I'm going to use uh, another OS utility from the os.path library. And since we're going to be doing a few os.path things, I'll go ahead and do it up here from os.path. We're going to need two things. The first thing is join. That's going to put the directory name and the file name together. Um, so I don't have to worry about where the slashes go, forward slashes, backslashes, anything like that. It'll do it for me. And then the second thing that I'm going to be needing is something to get the size of a file. So there's already a get size function in os.path as well. So let's just use that. So the path is going to be the join of the root and the file. And then I just need to get the size from it. So I'll say size is equal to uh, get size of 
the path. And that returns it to me in bytes. So I'll probably want to put it in like megabytes later, but for now, uh, let's not worry about that. Uh, it's just gonna give me the size back in bytes. And one more thing, it's possible that uh, I don't have permissions to view the file or something goes wrong trying to look up the file. Uh, so just in case, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this in a try accept uh, block. And if something goes wrong, it, it's going to uh, raise an OS error. So I know that that's the error that it would raise. And if that happens, uh, just skip it. You know, if, if, if something's wrong, if I don't have permission to view the file, then okay, it's not gonna be in my total. Let's not worry about that. So I'll use continue to just skip to the next one. And I forgot a colon here. So then um, if we haven't skipped over it, then we can go ahead and yield that pair. So just in here, I'll say yield, um, let's say the path comma the size. So now this is no longer uh, going to be used as a function, this is going to be used as a generator. I'm going to iterate over it. So these things are going to be, um, I'm going to be able to do a for loop and get all of these pairs of path and size. That's really what I want, because in order to find the, the largest ones, uh, I just want to say, okay, just keep giving me files and their sizes, and then that should be enough information. So this is a nice use of a generator um, in Python, uh, where it'll turn out to be pretty useful for what we're doing. So now let's get back to the actual um, function to find the largest files. Now, let's just assume that I have this thing that I can iterate over to just give me all the files and their sizes. Okay, well, that's very convenient. And I'm actually going to cheat a little by using one of the Python built-in libraries. Uh, it's called nlargest, and it gives you um, the nlargest things from an iterable. So it's actually in the heap queue library. And it's in that library because the way that it's implemented is using a heap, but um, that actually kind of makes it a little bit hard to discover if you're not uh, very familiar with all of your Python libraries. Um, but in any case, you watch this video and then you are familiar with it. So from heap queue, let's import and largest. Uh, and there's also an n smallest that does essentially the same thing. And the way n largest works is, um, it's going to return to you a list. So let's just say largest uh, is going to be uh, n largest, and I pass in the number n, uh, the thing that I'm iterating over, and a key. So in this case, I want n things. Um, so what are the things that I'm going to iterate over? Well, let's just iterate over walk files and sizes. So I'll walk over the files and sizes. So I need to pass that starting location. And then because we've got both of this, uh, both of these pieces of information, both the path and the size, I, I could just have the sizes, but then if I was walking over those, I would just say, okay, here's the biggest size, but I wouldn't know what file it was. So I need to have both of those pieces of information there. But since it's a tuple, now I don't really want to sort by the natural sorting order, right? If I tried to sort, tuples of strings and um, ints, then I would get like alphabetically sorted first. Um, and I'm, I'm not actually sure if you can sort paths or uh, what order they would sort in. My, my guess is that you could sort them, um, but it would be in alphabetical order, not in size order, certainly. So we'll pass in a key function. And what do we want? Well, we'll use a little lambda here we'll say the key is going to be given any element x, and remember x here is going to be path comma size, sort by this key. So I wanna sort by just the size. So that would be x sub one. And there you have it. Uh, then we can go ahead and let's just loop through it and print them out. So for path size in largest, let's just print out uh, and I'll use a format string. So let's print out the size 
and then um, then print out the path. And like I mentioned before, let's go ahead and put these sizes in megabytes. So let's just define a megabyte is, okay, I would need to divide by 1024 to get it in kilobytes and then 1024 again to get it in megabytes. Um, so let's say size divided by megabytes and then megabytes. And since I don't want decimals, I'll go ahead and do floor division here. Um, just so I have um, things nicely printed out. Okay, let's see what it does. Uh, okay, so it looks like it took a little over a minute here, and you can see what all my biggest files are. Uh, the first being, oh yeah, so uh, I have a, a virtual installation of Linux. I have a backup of some mail and a bunch of installers and video files for other videos that I'm making. Okay, so that makes sense, and you can see um, that those are all large files. Um, so there you have it. Uh, that's how you can find the largest files on your machine. Hey, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.